Hi everyone, this is Rich. I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a little while to do edits and grading, mostly for little side projects and tests of mine. It's actually super nice for doing grading and putting an edit together. So I just wanted to make a really quick video to show you how you can set it up for use with EXR renders with ACES. I'm gonna keep this really short, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to our file, new project. Let's call this something like Junes. Let's create. I'm going to come up to File, Project Settings. My resolution for this was 1080 by 1080 square, so I'm just going to set that for our resolution here. The frame rate was 25 frames per second. I'm going to come over to Color Management. For Color Science, I'm going to set it to be ACES CCT. ACES version 1.1. And for our ACES output device transform, I'm going to set this to be Rex 709. I'm going to save that. So I'm making sure I'm in the media tab here. I'm going to click on this window, press control I to load in our footage. I've got a few folders here of renders. Now you can't seem to select entire sequences at the moment. But if you select the first one, press control A, and just open that, it will load it in as a sequence. So I'm just gonna go and grab those other ones quickly. Press Control A, open, Control I, Control A and open. So at the moment we haven't got our ACEs applied to this footage, so I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna come down to ACEs input transform, come over to here, and if I press page down, it will jump to the bottom of the list. You won't be able to see this on the screen, unfortunately, but we want to choose ACES CG from the bottom. And now this has got the ACES CG lookup applied to the footage. So let's go to our edit, select all of these, and we can just drag this into our timeline. So now you can do all your editing. You can press B for blade to cut the footage. A is your selection tool. If you press uh, backspace, it does a ripple delete. If you just press normal delete, it will leave the space there. And you can, of course, just select individual clips and move these around. You can click on the edges here to sort of adjust these. And you can press T to slide through your footage. And press A again. One more thing that's useful as you're moving it around, you can see it snaps to the edges of your clips. You can disable this by either pressing N or pressing this little magnet tool here. So let's just line these up, just for example. Now, if you wanted to do any sort of effects on this, you've got Fusion here, so you can just click on this tab and it will take you to Fusion. You've got color correction here if you want to color correct your footage. If you've added audio, you've got Fairlight here, so you can add any sort of audio effects or audio processing. And finally, we've got delivery here, so you can set your output for your final specs. And let's come to add to render queue, and you can just render all. So for color, you can come to the individual clips here and just click on them. And you've got a little corrector here. You can create other correctors just by going to add node, corrector, connect these up. Now, if you want to affect the entire timeline, which is what I normally do, Let's come back to our edit. I'm going to make sure we've got our effects library open. And under effects, I'm going to choose adjustment clip and just drag this onto the top video layer here. I'm going to drag this out so it matches the full length of our clip. And now when we come back to color, you can see we have another layer here where we can apply a corrector to it. So this will allow us now to grade our entire clip. We've got a range of different ways of grading things. Now got this new HDR mode, which is interesting because it allows you to sort of target different light ranges of your renders. So you can play around with this and grade your footage as you wish. You can also turn this off just by clicking on the little name here. And you can also disable your correctors just by tapping the little number here. So this will disable it. And you can also chain these up so you could add another corrector afterwards. Link that one up 
as well. So there you go, you can deliver here and this will be your final output. So give it a go. DaVinci Resolve is a great little tool, check it out.